the caterpillar with the pink eyes and red hair. Here's another story for you this morning. I know that you'll like it. It's a story about the wind. One day the wind blew wildly as it so often does. The wind blew through the trees, over the mountains, over the grass, and through the streets. Finally, the wind found a yard full of beautiful red roses. As the wind blew over the roses, he whispered to the roses, 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 shed your caterpillars. Roses, roses, throw away your caterpillars. All the roses that had caterpillars sleeping on them shook themselves and threw all of the caterpillars down to the ground. Yes, all of the roses got rid of their caterpillars, all except one little rose that stood over in the corner of the garden. This little rose said to himself, I'll throw off all of my caterpillars, all except one. I'm going to let that beautiful little caterpillar with the little pink eyes and the pretty red hair stay right where he is. And that's just what the rose did. He shook off all his caterpillars, all except the caterpillar with the little pink eyes and the pretty red hair. Then all of the roses in the garden folded up their pretty petals and fell asleep. Morning came, and the gardener went out to look at his roses. They were beautiful. They had all opened up their eyes. They were no longer young buds. They were now full-grown roses. Oh, but here is the sad part. One rose that stood in the corner of the garden was not awake. He drooped away over as if he were dead. The gardener stooped over to examine him. The rose was dead. What rose was this? Can you guess? Yes, it was the rose that did not throw off all of his caterpillars. It was the rose that would not shake off the caterpillar with the little pink eyes and the pretty red hair. What happened? Here's what happened. During the night, the caterpillar with the little pink eyes and the pretty red hair ate up the rose while the rose was asleep. And the poor little rose, he died. The poor little rose died because he refused to throw aside someone who would hurt him. The little rose thought that the caterpillar with the little pink eyes and the pretty red hair was so nice. Such a pretty caterpillar would never hurt anybody. What a mistake! The caterpillar with the little pink eyes and the pretty red hair just gobbled up the poor foolish rose. That's a sad story, isn't it? Well, that same sad thing happens to so many little boys and girls. God is just like the wind. God is always whispering to little boys and girls, telling them to throw off their caterpillars. I mean your bad habits. God is always telling you to get rid of certain bad boys and girls and not to play with them. God knows that bad boys and bad girls will do harm to your soul. God is always telling you to get rid of bad books and bad pictures things that will hurt your soul, things that will make you make sins. God is always whispering to you to be careful, to keep away from bad people and bad things. God wants your soul to be as beautiful as the rose. God doesn't want your soul to die. What happens? Oh, too often it happens that little boys and girls keep some bad habit or keep making some sin over and over again. And then do you know what happens? Why, that bad habit or that bad sin keeps eating and eating into the soul. And pretty soon the soul is all eaten up. Your soul gets covered with sin. And then the poor, poor soul is so covered with sin that the sin eats up the soul and the soul dies. Don't you let that happen to your soul. Sometimes sin looks pretty nice. It is just as pretty as the caterpillar with the little pink eyes and the pretty red hair. But look out. Look out! Don't you be fooled! Don't let the devil fool you when he makes sin look so nice. The devil always makes sin look beautiful, just like the terribly wicked caterpillar with the little pink eyes and the pretty red hair. Boys and girls, maybe you have a caterpillar with little pink eyes and pretty red hair inside you now, crawling over your soul. If you like to swear because you think it is smart, then you have a caterpillar Shake him off quickly. Perhaps you steal pennies from your mother because you like to buy candy. Perhaps you never say any prayers. Perhaps you miss mass because you like to sleep. Perhaps you like to tell lies. 
Well, if you have any bad habits like these, then you have a caterpillar with little pink eyes and pretty red hair. Worse yet, maybe you have two or three. Shake them off before they kill you. Get rid of the caterpillar before he gets rid of you. Boys and girls, caterpillars are nasty things. You always push them away when they get near you, don't you? Well, push sin away too. Run away from it. Don't be fooled by the caterpillars, even though they do have little pink eyes and pretty red hair.